Select the New Project button. Then choose a simple web app project. Enter your app name, and then select the template you want to use. For instance, a web app with Navba. Now we will add an icon and a button to the page. Hum, not very nice. We delete the two widgets. And we start again by adding first a block container and then a button inside the block. Looks better. We will try to add a grid component to the layout. Double click on the grid. By default, the grid has two columns. Let's add widgets inside the columns. For example, we add a button and an icon. Click on center button. It looks better now. Now, we would like a different behavior on mobile and tablet devices. We add first a container and the grid inside the container. Like that we have left and right margins automatically added. We add two buttons inside the grid columns. Double click. And set the column sizes to 100%. Now set the tablet size to 50% for the two columns. As you can see, on mobile, the buttons are using all the available space, while on tablets, there are two buttons on the same line, because the minimum size of a column is 5%, you can have a grid with 20 columns. We will now try the flexbox. Let's increase the height of the flexbox. and drop a button inside double click on the flex box and use the buttons to center the content vertically and horizontally other buttons inside the flex box all the widgets are now aligned at the center Let's try the line mode. Buttons are now displayed by line at the center of the flexbox. So all the containers are nestables. It means you can have flexbox within containers, or within flexbox, etc. Thanks for watching.